vegan. What's up, what's up, people? This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This is Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 16, the season finale, The Beginning. My name's Adam Vale. I'm an editor over at The Coalition, and... My name is Richard Bailey Jr., and I'm the editor-in-chief over at The Coalition. There you go, and we are here. This is it. We made it. We made it, <laughs> It's the final countdown. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, he got the nukes and the explosions. I'm like, I'm expecting everything to blow. And, oh, we, we, we got some of that. We got some of that. We did see the mushroom cloud. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, yeah. But, uh, oh, man. All right, so before I get into it, just in case people just stumbled upon this, uh, we cover everything. This is I am Negan. We cover all of Walking Dead, of the Walking Dead universe, the Walking Dead proper, Fear the Walking Dead, uh, Walking Dead World Beyond, and uh, whatever other shows they, they plan on creating within this universe. Uh, so if uh, you have not watched this episode, please go to AMC Plus or Plus. You could watch it there or wait till Sunday, watch it, and then you can come back and then you can hear our thoughts. And Because we they're spoilers. We are going to be spoiling this and uh, just giving our thoughts of what we think is going to happen come Season 7. And yes, it has been approved. There will be a Season 7 because I saw some discussions. Some people like, oh, well, if they're doing with the Warheads and everything, I guess this is it. And you know what? Valid point. This would be a cool way just to end it, right? Just like, pfft bombs blow up everything you see everybody disintegrate like uh from those old uh, 1950s uh nuke testing videos from vegas you know that area mm -hmm. the desert th those are pretty cool but anyway yeah that could have been but no it's coming back season seven it's definitely coming back they've confirmed it and so uh yeah a lot of that is happening so anyway yeah if you didn't see it please go watch it if not if you don't care and you want to hear what's going to happen you don't then poof Let's get into it. Let's just get into it. All right. So right at the beginning, because there's a lot of different paths. So people, what we're going to do is, we, since everyone branched out, all these groups branched out, we're just going to start from beginning to end of each group. So that way we don't get everyone lost with the jumping and back and forth. Because there was a lot of that in this episode. Went from one mm -hmm. group to another group to another group to another group. It's like, all right. It, what's, the only thing that matters is that... From what we saw from the the ending of the last episode, when Morgan gets on the walkie and tells everybody, you gotta leave, you gotta leave, this is what's going on, pretty much, uh, we messed up. <laughs> we didn't reach in time, everything has gone to poo, you know, find shelter, just run. And this episode starts off from that point. Every group that we see here, they all have the walkie out, and they're all listening to this. And, and, and which is kind of throwing me off, because... It, why did they separate? If he, if they were all together, like we did see, a lot, a majority of them were all together outside. And when he then announced on the walkie to leave, you would think they would all leave together, but that's not what happened. Eh, and whatever. And I guess it's, it makes for good TV because we're about to get into it. So the first uh, person that we see is Rachel, and a lot of people are probably gonna be like, "Well, Rachel, wait, who, who's Rachel? Rachel? Oh, that's right. Rachel is Isaac's wife." And remember, mm -hmm. Isaac was the one that helped out uh, the, the Morgan early on in the season. They came across each other. Then he's the one that found that location and the whole thing. And then Rachel had a baby. So we see that Rachel's with the baby and having some car trouble. She's listening to Morgan on the, the walkie-talkie saying about, got to go, you got to survive, da, da, da. So she's trying to change her tire, dealing with some issues. And uh, the baby's inside the car. The, the jack that she had falls, it lands, it, it, a piece of the car lands on her leg, breaks the leg, gruesome scene, you see the bone pop out, I know what mm -hmm. that's like, I had a bone like that similar pop out of my arm when I got hit by a van, yeah, yeah it was nasty. I got a metal bar on my arm, and they, they had to put a metal bar in with screws and then staple it closed, so, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. it, it was pretty brutal. But anyway, yeah. anyway, so she was like, all right, I gotta, she realizes she has to get out. Now, we also see that the dog is here. I don't know, Morgan's dog, the one that he picked up on uh, through his journeys. There we go. The dog is there. 
So she puts the baby uh, on her back. She starts trying to walk. She meets like the little homemade splint to try, but you still see the bone sticking out because you know, what, what can she do? So she's trying to walk down this road, but she's in a lot of pain. It's not going to happen. She collapses down. She's like, oh, this isn't it. It's not going to work. She takes out a little, like a, what is it, like a knife or shank or something. It was like a sharp object. And she's yeah. looking at the baby. And I'm like, oh, this is going to get dark. This is it. We're just going to see the end of both of them. Because they were like out of nowhere laying on this road. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's like, no, your your story is going to keep going on. You're going to keep going. This is it for me. So she opens up her bag. She gets out some rope. She wraps it around her mouth. She she uh, tethers herself to the dog. She puts the baby on her back. And whoop, she kills herself. Right? Oh, but right before that, though, she does get like a cloth or something. She puts it around the nose of the dog and says, find him. You know? So it's like, okay, now I see what, what she's doing here, but would that really work? Like, all right, so you give the, the, <laughs> the scent, okay, dog, go find Morgan. I'm going to turn into a walker, so now I'm going to be able to walk with no issues. I'm just because I'm going to try to get the dog. Yeah. Right? And uh, the baby is just going to be on the back. Now, wouldn't the walker just reach his hands up behind and grab the baby? You know, it's like, I mean, or freak out. I don't know think it too much into it but anyway that was the plan and that was very creative i don't think we've ever seen anything like that in any walking dead show of that type of setup where it's like all right how can i get from point a to point b and i'm injured and i'm taking care of a child how do you do it well th- there you go you know tether yourself to a dog say sniff this find him kill yourself now you can walk for days because you're dead and you have the baby strapped on the back and hope for the best boom that's it for Rachel. All right. Anything you want to add uh, to that? What did you think of that whole scene? Uh, so I will say, yeah, you're right. It was creative, but it, it also was very heartbreaking to see that as the end result. And when you think about, you mentioned Isaac. That was the first episode of season six that Isaac met Morgan. And Isaac died in that episode. So I guess it's a fitting bookend that the wife dies in the last episode. Um, it's just, it, it, it's very, it's, but it was still brutal watching that, you know, see her kill herself to assure that, uh, her daughter, Morgan, yep, Morgan. Was there, mm-hmm. so, so survives. So it's just, uh, I know they wanted to come full circle. It, it, it was a little tough to see that, but, uh, it, it was a creative way to sacrifice yourself and make sure that you protect the baby. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. So then we jump to the next group. And this group has Daniel, Lucia, Sarah, uh, Raleigh. Right. And then we also see um, Riley. Raleigh and Riley. And and, and Wes. And Wes. That's right. Wes was there Mm -hmm. too. All right. So they're all in their truck. And they're, well, the group was there. And Raleigh shows up with Riley. And he's all beat up. Riley. All beat up. So I guess Raleigh was, you know. Laying a whooping on him because he was like, "All right, well, we know where we're going." We uh, he he just spilled the beans, and there's a bunker at, at the bottom of a hotel, and that's where we're gonna go. But then like, when we've discussed this before, and you brought it up before we were recording of how much of content or story content is not on screen. They do so yeah. much off screen, and this is a key part right here because this had me confused. When Daniel was like, well, uh, no, I know another way. I heard on the walkie-talkie someone was giving coordinates to go, and it sounded very familiar. I just can't pinpoint that. I know it. And I was like, wait, was I, wait, did I miss that? Did I miss that? And I, re- I did a real one. I had started from, I was like, wait, wait, I, no. And he, they, they didn't talk about this in the last episode. So I'm like, what is he talking about? And this is something that they just do. They throw in these key scenes off camera and they bring it up like we're supposed to know. And it, it's that would have been something worth hearing because I, I also understand why they didn't do it because of the big surprise for their trip at toward the end, right? Yeah. And, but... It, it it sort of throws you in a loop like, eh, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not really paying well, attention. Well, yeah, because, I mean, the last time we saw Daniel, you thought he, you, you know, you're supposed to believe that this guy is going crazy because yeah. of he, he, he didn't remember anything. So it's just it's a little weird that uh, you didn't really see much of a buildup to this whole thing of him now knowing about these coordinates and all this other stuff. Yeah. 
So and, I understand well, uh, the confusion. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. And then they start bringing it up, and everyone starts questioning. It was like, hey, you were just mumbling all this stuff before. Remember this and that? And he was like, and Lucia was like, did you definitely hear that on the walk? He was like, I, 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 I don't know. I think I did. Oh, boy. So now he's going to be that guy on this show. It's like, we can't trust <laughs> anything he says. But just to put a little asterisk, something that we heard, that again, not a part of the show, after the show, for those who watch this on AMC+, Plus, there's a, a little commentary that the producers do. And one of the producers said it. He was like, oh, he has PTSD. Mm-hmm. So it's not dementia or anything. It's PTSD. And that was never mentioned on the show. They don't know what's wrong with him. Remember? They were like, yeah, you just need to go and settle down, relax, and, and you know, we'll deal with it from there. But now we know. So it's PTSD. So... They're not too sure. No one's sure about anything. So they're like, all right, well, we're just going to go to the bunker. Let's just do that. I was like, all right. So they all pile up in the truck, and they're en route. And uh, this is where he's still questioning. This is Daniel. He's like, no, no, I know what I heard. He's talking to Lucia. They're doing a back and forth thing. And uh, this is when we get, what, the flat, right? Some kind of flat or something happens with the truck. They have to stop. Uh, brakes. The, the brakes. brakes. The brakes give out. That's right. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's uh, serious. That's a serious problem. So it gets out. Everyone gets out. They start fighting some more because we get one of those scenes. It's an open road. But at this point, this is where Daniel's like, no, I really think we can't trust him. Raleigh's in on it. He said, like, I know it. I know it. And we said, how do you know? What do you mean? What's it? And uh, Raleigh walks around the side of the truck saying, all right, we're getting ready <laughs> to go. And he was, and Daniel's like, give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. She gives him the gun and just with one point, one shot to the head, down he goes. He kills him. The doors open up in the back of the truck. We see Raleigh. Uh, Riley, he's about to get out, and boom, Charlie puts him one in the gut. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, what's happening? You know, wait, 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 what is this? Are you sure? He's like, no, I know. He was definitely in on it. I know it. They were going to set us up. This is not where we're supposed to go. We have to go to the coordinates. I know what I heard. And you're like, you sure? Yes, and I know the coordinates. Let's go there. And they were like, all right, fine. So they go. Mm-hmm. So right there, what did you think of that? Because this... This was uh, I don't I don't want to say this was for the sake of just killing people because Raleigh whatever I I could care less I mean whatever he wasn't a key character uh, yeah. the Riley is this the way he goes out and we find out yeah that this is how he went out yeah uh, so so I so I would say that um my biggest issue with this whole thing is it it has a lot to do with the fact that. Uh, we didn't ever see how this character decided to to turn towards the, you know, and, and it just decides to work with, with, with Riley. Because the thing is, is that, you know, I know what they wanted to do, which is that, go back to the episode where we thought something was wrong with Daniel. Mm-hmm. And they made it out to be a mystery that somebody was in on all of this. And the fact of the matter is that that was not the case, you know. Daniel in that particular episode had some issues because then after Charlie shoots um, Riley, Riley then tells what, you know, when they keep saying, you know, was he in on it? Riley actually confesses yes, because he saw how the group reacted and wasn't on each other's side when they had the incident. Um, that whole incident in that episode where they couldn't trust anybody. Yeah, she was trying to add all this backstory that was not on camera. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? When when did they never zoomed in yeah. on his face? You never see him like, hmm, suspicion. No, they just throwing this in there. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 was my 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 problem because it would have been good to at least establish. They didn't need to really do much. Like in in like one of these other episodes, just have their roly character show up. And have a conversation with Riley or something, just to give you to let you know, oh, this guy is actually working for them now. Um, but instead, it just came out of nowhere, where the guy gets killed, and then Riley confesses, yeah, he 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 decided to join us after y'all couldn't trust each other. So I the, thought that was a not yeah, a good a good explanation. Yeah, and who then who beat the shit out of uh, Riley? <laughs> Did he do That's that the just question. for show? Did he do that just for that, show? All right, I gotta kick your ass a little oh, bit oh. so that way it looked like I could. Because we we know that uh, Strand didn't do it in the sub. Yeah, in the sub, I, that didn't happen. That 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 is the possibility, and I would also say that the showrunners and writers beat the hell out of Riley 
and that's <laughs> that's why he, that's why you didn't you didn't see it, yep. you didn't see it on camera. <laughs> yeah, there was a few <laughs> little holes in here. Here's another one when uh, they were talking about Lucia was talking to Sarah was like, yeah, I know you want to see your brother. You're gonna see him again. Don't worry, you're gonna see him. Yeah, where is your brother? Where is oh. your brother? Well, you know, well, you know what he's at. I, th- I believe he was filming another show. <laughs> exactly. He, yeah, he's off. He's off show. But the, but on this show, they don't even mention what town he's in, what's going on with him. He's just gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So that's why I kind of find it funny that they would bring that up to for the audience. Because come on, the question is going to pop up. Because I'm sure a large majority of the audience for, completely forgot about him. So then now it's like, oh yeah, where is he? Wait, 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 was he with Strand's crew? I mean, he's definitely not with Sherry and uh, the baby face mafia over there. You know, the, wh- where is he? Whatever. There goes that. So <laughs> we'll just keep going with their scene. They finally get to the, the, the coordinates. They're looking around. They don't know what's going on. They're like, well, we're here. What, what, what's supposed to happen? You know, and at the same time, uh, this, this, I am not even going to go there. Just at the same time, we see the warheads, one of the warheads dropping. It's descending down. Yep. So I don't care what happens at this point. I don't care if there was a plane or anything. You're all going to die. <laughs> the plane yeah, is yeah. going to get blown. I don't <laughs> care. But you know what? That's not what we ha- what happens here. We see a Civil, a Civil Republic helicopter show up. It descends. The like I said, we don't see the voice, but we hear a familiar voice. And this is the voice that he had heard. It's Al. So uh-huh. Al went out, if you recall, a few episodes back, told Dwight, hey, listen, I need to go find the, the love interest, the one I worked with that was a pilot. I, uh-huh. I got to find her. And this is why. And this is why they also did not mention her at all. No one cared where she was. No one asked. And it's you know, out of sight, out of mind. And that's great for the audience because then it's a big surprise. And that's why he was like, oh, I, now I recognize the voice because it was Al. And Al's like, all right, we're here. Just get into the helicopter. Don't ask questions. Let's just go. So it, they land. Everyone gets in the helicopter. It takes off. And then we start seeing all the explosions in the background. They start showing like things getting destroyed and all that stuff. I'm, I'm assuming that uh, they made it out. The blast did not impact the helicopter because uh, what would be the point? That would be yeah. kind of crazy if they did this whole scene just to get to the helicopter. And then we just see the helicopter just go down. You know? Exactly. So there we go. Their part is done. Scratch that one off your list. Next <laughs> is we have Dwight and Sherry. Okay, got the happy couple. All right, they finally reunite, and now they're about to die and uh, by a nuclear warhead. So <laughs> that's it. That's how, that's how they. That's what. That's pretty much what was going on. The dialogue between them. Remember, they're like, "Oh, this is how it worked for us, right?" And she and then Sherry has all the regrets. Oh, I regret. I had so much hate in my heart, and look at all this stuff I kept doing, and I kept running from you, and then I was trying to solve problems and fight off enemies when I should have just embraced us and lived our life, and we were free. And you know, she's going in that whole dialogue, and they find a house. And they're like, well, I guess we'll just stay here. And uh, I think they found some food there. There was something, I forgot, I can't remember the, the meal or something that they found. Was it chips or something? They found something that they were like, oh, yeah, this is what we always said we wanted anyway. So it's here. There, there was some beer. That they it was had. beer. It was beer. There was yeah, something yeah. on the table. And they were like, oh, yeah, we'll just stay at this house and we'll wait until the, the blast comes in and just vaporizes us. So while they're out there on the porch, front porch talking about this, you hear like a shotgun. And we see that they, they didn't do a good job checking his house. Because <laughs> there's a husband, a wife, and a daughter, right? Was, and uh, he was like, you get off my land. I was like, whoa, 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 sorry. We, we thought this was uh, vacant or, you know, empty. No one was here. I'm sorry. We, it's like, oh, no, no. Are you with those people? And it's like, what, do we, what, what what's going on here? I mean, we got to leave. There's going to be an explosion. So things like, oh, we know about that. We, we. We heard the sirens and we saw the sky and the missile and all that stuff. But they have a, a shelter, uh, what you call it, a storm shelter, and um, they said that there were some guys that kicked them out of it. And they were they were like some what some guys yeah are you with them? They, they kept spouting some like the end is the beginning, and then the two look at each other like oh we know who these guys are. It's like you know what, where, where is it? We're, we're gonna we're gonna take care of them because at this point, if I remember right, they both had guns. They were staring each other down with guns. Right, Sherry mm-hmm. had a gun, and Dwight had the gun pointing at the the, the, the dad with his shotgun. And then she, the, Sherry and them lowered their guns. Like, no, 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 we're on the same side. Don't worry about it. We're, we're going to get him out for you. 
Uh, they, they strap the doors to the back of a horse, <laughs> a rope to the back of a horse. Uh, I've never, I, I don't know how strong these doors are. I don't know how effective this will be or painful on the horse when it finally stops. Is this going to pull it? Is this, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, is the horse going to collapse? Like, whoa, what did you strap to me? I don't know. But uh, whatever. We don't see that part. We just see Dwight slap it on its ass and off to the races the horse is going. All right? That was a horse that Dwight and Sherry used to, to find his house. So it goes running off. And, hey, it's strong enough. It pulls the door. But once it does it, it, it reminds me of, like, one of those old uh, G.I. Joe cartoons where all the Cobras just start storming out. Cobra! Because once it, it pops up, you see, like, two of these guys just running out, guns blazing. Right? Mm -hmm. they, it's a shootout, whole big thing. Right. So they put these guys down. They put one down, he gets shot. The other one, he's still somewhat alive, right? I think we shot in uh, his leg or somewhere in his body part. I know Sherry shoots him in the other leg. There was a walker coming, and uh, Dwight was going to put him down. They just let him die. And he's like, go ahead, this is it, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're going to suffer. You, you, you guys did this. You know, This is yeah. what you wanted, and, and then you're going to go and try to hide? No, no. This is what you're going to get. And I thought at first he was going to just leave him for the, the walker to just chomp on him. But nope, didn't do that. They shoot the walker, put that one down, and then Sherry comes in and then she shoots him in the leg. It was Sherry that did that, right? I thought it was Sherry. Or maybe it was Dwight. No, no, it was, it was, it was Dwight. It was Dwight, right? He shot, shoots him in the other leg. So now he's like, now you can't move. Now you just got to sit here and watch suffer. And then at the same time, they look up and then they see another warheads coming down near them <laughs> and they're like all right and then the family they're already there and then this is the other part that sort of threw me off because i'm like we just saw the the, the storm doors break off right yep mm -hmm. yeah then the family's already in there like hey come on you got to go down there so then they're like all right fine so they go running down and he just pulls some dwight finds i don't know some sheet of metal definitely wasn't the doors because we saw those go flying you know off when it was tied up to the horse so he finds something else and he covers up the the shelter, the storm shelter, and that's it. Scratch them off, off your left. Done. Okay. Next up, Strand. Strand is by himself again. Yeah. <laughs> now, he had all these rangers before, right? A few, a few episodes yep. back, he was the leader of this, you know, quote unquote, army that uh, Virginia had. Then what? Where are they? Well, we only got that. We don't have anybody, actually. There's nobody. We don't see any of these people. No one cares where they are. But we just see Strands by himself. He, we see he's just running off into nowhere land. He's looking all beat up and bruised and stuff. And uh, he sees an office building. Goes running mm -hmm. into the office building. There's a bunch of walkers there. He starts attacking them. He doesn't care. He's killing them. He's doing the whole thing, right? And uh, for some reason, now, you can. Let me know if I'm wrong. He doesn't go to the basement, which is where you would think you want to go if there's going to be like a nuclear blast, right? Go underground. He goes up. Now, is it because he heard music? Because I was, I swore he was already going up and then slowed down when he heard music. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe he, he he kept going up. He, then he heard the music, and then that was when he decided to investigate the area that the music was coming you see, from you see there you go that right there yeah. made no damn sense because yeah, <laughs> it's like you're not going up in a building if there's going to be a blast you're going below you go to the basement but 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 one thing though is before he went upstairs you know he, he did it when when he first went in there he had they had that whole scene of him yelling because there's wondering we was wondering last week why oh, that was, was a why mystery was that was a mystery yeah. <laughs> of him raging. That pissed me off. They were like, all right, how can we catch people? How can we use a you know, scene bait? Well, let's do this. Scream. Oh! Because what did he do? After he cleared the first row and he gets up top to the next level, he looks over a balcony, he sees a bunch of them, right? He feels like he's trapped. Mm -hmm. He just leans against the side. And then he screams. Exactly. I was like, come on. Is this it? This is it. This is that. No, no. That 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 was uh, that was a cop out. But whatever. He gets up. He goes forward. That's where he hears the music. He goes up top. The, the next level. Sees it, someone's been living there. There's a music playing. There's there's bourbon. There's books. There's all kinds of stuff. 
And there's also a guy who's pointing a gun at him. It's like, who are you? What's going on? And he's like, oh, uh, there's some bad people. And we tried to stop them. And then uh, he's giving them the whole spiel. But then this is where it gets tricky because he was like, well, there was one person who was out for the glory for himself and the other one who was doing everything for others and all things. Like, Which one were you? He was like, I was the one doing everything for the others. My name is Morgan Jones. <laughs> I was like, no, no. I was like, oh boy. Okay, so uh, I guess he's assuming Morgan's dead and he's just going to play that role. But out of all names, you could have said anybody. You know, why Why pick that? But whatever, Morgan Jones. So I'm like, oh, there you go. He's going to be the Morgan. All right, so which we're going to keep going with his part. So then uh, they go back and forth talking. We get some backstory on this guy. What was it? He was a, a historian. That's why he had all these items. He was like, hey, flip the record over. I got some bourbon. You know, let's just uh, write this out. He gives some sad story about his wife and some other things going on. And I was like, okay, so this is it, right? They're just going to deal with it. They have a nice big window. And then poof, we see off in the distance, mushroom cloud, right? Mm -hmm. We're seeing everything blow up. We're seeing the, the houses get destroyed. I think they even showed the house that... Uh, that Dwight and Sherry and the family, that's gone. That gets brushed off. Everything's yeah, just getting, yeah. right? They yeah, we did see that. Mm -hmm. right? That's getting brushed off. Everything's just getting destroyed. And so they they start, they lay down on the ground. They're screaming, and nothing happens. Not even the windows break on this building. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, no. Don't tell, don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. And my meaning, they're going to survive. At least he's going to survive, Strand. And then, sure enough, he survives. And he gives his whole speech about how, oh, everything I've done, and I'm still here, and all the things that I've conned. And isn't he just going on this, like, loud rant. And the other guy's like, wait, wait what? What's going on? And uh, he says, I remember I told you that story? I'm the other guy. That's me. And I'm still here. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is a new beginning. That's right. I survived this, and we are going to start a new beginning. So I guess he just recruited this dude to work with him. So uh, Oh, yeah. But as far as I yeah. remember, that guy still had a gun. Yeah, he did. Right? Yeah, yeah he still had a gun. He yep. still had a gun. So if anything, I was at, I, all right, I was at, this, this is the point where he just says, nope, maybe uh, I am, but not you. And just buck him. Uh, but no, didn't happen. Because we just talked about how they did the tease with Strand screaming as if like he got hurt or he was about to die. And then now this. Yeah. So there we go. Strand survives and his new buddy, the historian. Okay. And, and, and yeah. And my and my theory is that now this pretty much sets up Strand to be the villain for next season. Because the whole thing with him and Morgan, that you know, we—I have said last week. Well, they're, they're, those characters are probably going to have tension after, you know, after what happened last week, because he prevented Morgan from getting there sooner. So I, I would not be surprised if this character does end up becoming an adversary now towards Morgan and some of the others. Uh, um, yeah, I guess, but we would want someone new. And I, I'm yeah. sure they would in, introduce someone new because he he's been playing that that role. He is uh, similar, and I'm blanking on her name from Lost in Space. Remember the? Did you watch? Did you see Lost in Space? The the well, even the remake, the one he did on Netflix, and it was uh, the woman that she was a con, and she there was a doctor that was dying on the ship, and she took his badge, and she said she was the doctor. And, She's just uh, like conning her way through everything. Because remember, that was pretty much Strand's gig. He conned it when they did his early backstories in the earlier seasons. He was always yep. a con man. Mm -hmm. You know, everything he did was a lie. All right, so there goes that. All right, so scratch them off the list. All right. Next up is uh, Dakota, a.k.a. Sue, and our boy Teddy, the cult leader. Uh, All right, yeah. so... We see that both of them got in his truck and they're just driving off. That's it. And they, he's giving a whole speech. You know, I'm glad we met. I'm glad it's you. Uh, we're so much alike. Everything's going to be great. She's like, what are you talking about? Aren't we going to die? Well, uh, he just sort of dances around it and stuff. 
And why is that? Because he takes her to this, like, open cliffside. Really nice-looking cliff view of everything, right? And it's like, oh, we're going to have a front view of this. But something didn't seem right. It's like, well, I don't know. It it just seemed off right from the beginning once they get there. Because it's like, well, if you're going to die, you could have died anyway. Why are you racing off to somewhere else in a truck? So clearly he had another plan. And uh, I don't know if the the people listening, if they picked up on these little vibes, but a lot of the things that he was talking about, starting over and this and this and that, and the way he was talking to Sue, a.k.a. Dakota, doing the whole thing, talking to her, hugging her, kissing her, and all that. I'm like, mm-hmm. this is, uh, I think this is a little more into this. Like, he was like, oh, we're, we're going we're gonna to recreate society, you and I. This is how this is going to work. So while they're there, and then he's doing the embrace, I ain't talking about all this stuff and not being real vague about their future plans after this point. We see JD Senior pops up. Dun 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 dun. You know, cow- <laughs> the cowboy stance and everything. Like, where did you come from? I mean, it's an open road. You can see from miles down. There was no one behind them. They didn't see anyone. And then poof. It's not like he gave coordinates to anybody. This was not a, a meeting ground for surviving members of his cult. Whatever. This is this is a story. He shows up there. Right, he's pointing his gun. He was like, "No, nope, this is not going to happen." He's telling Sue, "Don't listen to him. He doesn't really care about you." And this whole thing. And and then that's when it's somewhere along the lines, I don't know. Maybe I missed this. Where? How did he determine or discover that they were on top of a bunker? That was that was, that was the John Dory Senior that that noticed yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But how? Well, well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. How did he know? That's that's. I don't, I don't know. That maybe I'm missing it, or but I def, definitely saw that. I think he stepped forward. He was stepping closer because. Then, yep, that, that's yeah, that's what it was. He was stepping closer, and then that's when he found he heard it, the, the dinging noise, and he brushed over and he says, "Oh, there's a bunker." So that's what he and this 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 didn't really make much sense. But then he says, "Oh well, so what he needs you for." Is not that he cares about you, and that he needs you because in order to activate everything, it's a two key process. Mm-hmm. Remember, wrong, John Doring Seniors, wrong because those keys <laughs> are still in the submarine. Yes, mm-hmm. there yep. are no keys here, so that is not why he needs her. He needs her because he is going to go into the bunker with her, and uh, he needs companionship. Mm-hmm. That's that's what's really going on here. And, and then her whole thing was like, wait a minute, you're, you're gonna. And then that's when I think he reaches for a gun, and then we see June. She's a crack shot, and she shoots. All right? So there goes that. So now the only person with a gun besides the June is, and then, um, and uh, JD Senior is Dakota. Dakota's pointing the gun. She's all confused. She's like, what? what? She's looking at him like, what, what's going on here? Why did you do this? What, what? And he's not being truthful. He doesn't know what to say. He's mumbling, stumbling things. You know, but before I move forward, man, that this is the part that I, I was like, you could have went creepy with this. You could have went mm-hmm. dark with this scene. Because one, by for them to throw that line in about the keys... They're assuming the audience forgot about the keys. And there's no way we could have forgot because one of the last scenes in the last episode is Morgan looking at the keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still in there. Remember, they just didn't get a chance to to take them out and reactivate all the other ones. So maybe we could argue that, oh, J.D. Sr. doesn't know that and just assumes he has the keys. Yeah, yeah. Because J.D. Sr. wasn't in the... He uh, wasn't in... Yeah, he didn't get that yeah, far in the submarine, so he doesn't know. But then... Yeah. But still, that it, that part didn't make much sense. But anyway, they that, see the nuke explode, right? Another one landing, and we hear the rumbling and all this stuff. And uh, J.D. Sr. opens up the hatch, and he's like, all right, well, we're going. Right, and then uh, June and JD Senior they go down and they close up, and Dakota is out there with Teddy, and she's all pissed <laughs> yeah. off, and she's like, "You, you know what? You did this. You're you were lying to me the whole time. You didn't care." Boom! She shoots him in the gut. He drops down. Boom! She puts another one in his head. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Very then, brutal. Yep. Very brutal. And then what do we see? The bright lights, the nuke lights. Right. The the blast. 
Yep. Everything just obliterates. We could assume she's dead. I'm assuming. Oh, 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 no. She's definitely dead because you saw her look at into the distance. See, that. See, this is what I didn't understand. You know, when she, they had that whole back and forth conversation with John Dory in, in, in June, they were telling her, oh, we forgive you for killing John. We forgive you. They were trying to give her a chance, trying to save her. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Because he was and, saying he was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna forgive you." He's like, I, "You killed my son and holding, but you know why? Why? Why would you do that?" Yeah, exactly. So, so now that you, you, you obviously you didn't want to trust them, but you know that Teddy, his plan would still work if you actually are the one that gets killed. But you still decide. Well, I, I still I, there's no point. I don't trust anybody. I just. I just I just want to die. That's what she decided because she still could have went with them, but um, yeah. It just it's just like and that whole dialogue they had. Like I said, it, it was. I, I personally thought that John Dory and June they had good dialogue. I thought Dakota was a little cringeworthy because I know again that was kind of like the a western with the standoff. Oh, yeah. That's what that, oh, yeah. that that's what that scene was. But mm -hmm. I wasn't really completely sold on her. When she, what she was saying, because her voice was cracking and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, so she shoots Teddy. Yes, T Teddy is dead. And then she just stands there, and then they have that graphic of you seeing her body just basically turn into ash yeah. as the explosion happens. So I, I, I now that, that was a little brutal for me. I was like, wow. Well, she chose that, though. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is what it is. Yeah, but, uh, it's yeah, it it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It is crazy. So then... The so then that's it. We're done with them. Scratch them off the. All right. <laughs> so now we are down to the last, the last two, and that's Morgan and Grace. Mm -hmm. All right. So Morgan is still in uh, the submarine and in disbelief. You hear him on the walkie-talkie. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe this happened. And and, and then Grace is like, we got to go. We got to go. He's like, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? He's like, I tried. I, I wanted to do everything right for you and for Athena. And all. He's, he's getting all emo about the whole thing. It's like She was like, all right, but we got to go. But, but in my head, and this is what I was just saying before, this is probably the best place you could be, a submarine. Mm -hmm. With all these steel doors, just run out there, start closing as many doors as you can to really lock yourself in there, mm -hmm. and uh, just ride it out. Just ride it out. That's the, that's the only thing I could think of. But even then, she starts bringing up good points, and she says, hey, even if we survive, we still are going to die because of the radiation. Yeah. She's like, so this is, there's nowhere else to really go after this. So she's telling him to leave, but then at the same point, she's saying, well, where, how far can we really get? I mean, we're, once this happens, the land, everything's going to be ruined. We're going to have to evacuate as soon as possible, or else we're going to get uh, radiation, poison, whole big thing. So uh, they just embrace, and if I recall, he took the gun out. So it looked like, right? Was that a gun? Well, yeah, but before that, yeah, finally, the the big payoff that I guess the, some people were waiting for is that, yes, she oh, said they, yes, said they, said they, that's they, they right. love My each other. bad, that's right. For yeah. the first time, it's been confirmed. He said yeah. before he had feelings. Well, he's just like, remember, I feel the same. That was the last, uh, the sort of the, the finale of the last season. You know, what, what you feel mm -hmm. like. But no, now we actually hear it. She says, I love you. He says, I love you. They do some smooching. You know, that was it. They're just going to put an end to it. They're just going to end their day. They're happy. This is it. They tried, and, and that was it. And uh, this is where it was a little cheesy. Little cheesy <laughs> this, part, this part. Not with the embrace. We were like, what's wrong with that? No, no, no. All that makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. This part is that they were like, oh, you hear a baby crying. He's like, do you hear? I, it's Athena. You hear? Yeah, I hear her too. Oh, wow. And, well, first, <laughs> it was, uh, let's re remember, it was a stillborn. So they had no point ever heard. So it's not like, oh, they're just yeah. both having this reoccurring you know, thought of this child. No, it didn't happen. But uh, they're like, no, I really hear it. Yeah, you hear it? I don't know how they're hearing this, though. I, I, so I, 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 so I, have, I have a theory. I, I think, uh, you know, obviously, I believe that it was... Uh, the intercom? Yeah, it was the intercom, but I believe that it was, it, it was, it, it was uh, Rose... 
she is the one that had the gun and they were going to kill themselves. And I guess that they figured, well, they was already dead. So I guess that's what they were hearing. The dead baby now. Um, but you're right. They never heard her. They never heard the baby because, yeah, she was still born. So it's that's a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, I guess it, it's like they knew they were going to die, and that's, they figured, oh, well, now we can hear her voice because we're, we're at, we, we pretty much are dead. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what they were trying to say. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, well, the other issue and what I was getting at is when we find out what they really do here, which is baby Morgan. How do you hear <laughs> that? How do you hear this baby from the bottom of a submarine? You know, mm -hmm. in, in the submarine, no, it's, yes, it's, it's beached, but still, it's a massive ship and you're always this intercom it's within the ship this is the baby you know they're outside they're, yeah. they're just whatever so they they go up top they go out there they take a look there's some walkers they're shooting they're killing the walkers they're doing the whole thing trying to figure out where this baby sounds coming from and then sure enough we see it we see rachel she's a, a, a zombie and we see the dog, and he's pulling them, and they're like, "Oh, what, what is that's horrible? What's happening?" And you know, they they kill it, and then they realize once it falls, it's like that's it. The baby's on the back. They take it mm -hmm. out. Baby Morgan's okay. They get the dog. They're like, "Oh, so the dog did its job, right? They found Morgan. How did it do that? It's a miracle. It's amazing, especially since you would think that the trail would be lost because he was in." Uh, the submarine and with all the stuff going on and commotion whatever it, it still it doesn't matter it was kind of cool still kind of cool with that so they have the baby and he's like oh look we we we, we were blessed with a child do we have a, a purpose to live it's to take mm -hmm. care of morgan this is it we're, we're gonna keep going yay and then we see the warhead off in the distance landing right and everything's exploding and all the stuff and they're running and they run underneath a truck um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna work. Uh, yep. th there's no way that's gonna work. But hey, you know what? It's TV land, and they went that route because they showed them surviving that. Mm -hmm. And that was like, oh, oh. come on! I, I was hoping that they would at least show them getting back in the submarine and closing the hatch. That that would have made more sense because, as you said, it's 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 a lot safer to be inside the submarine than. But, but I guess they, because cause they, they didn't know where the, the warhead was going to hit and whether or not it was going to come back to that location because even Teddy teased that it might come back to that location in the last episode. Yeah, 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 he did, he did. You know, but then even then when he said that, I'm thinking to myself, he has no plans of actually killing himself or Riley because he needs yep. Riley because Riley is a smart one who knows how to do all this. So if they lock themselves in there, yes, everything blows up around them, but they're going to be pretty safe in this sub. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was thinking, but uh, that never gets brought up, and that's not what happens here. The blast happens. Uh, yeah, you see some debris, you see all that stuff. Some other things get destroyed, but hey, all three of them survive. Four, if you count the dog. I don't think they showed the dog dead. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. They're just standing there. They stand up, and they look, and it looks that like a... Hmm? Yeah, I... I, I I I was confused about that that particular ending where they just look back at, at each other, mm -hmm. as stuff is still exploding in the back and behind of them. It's like it's oh well now we, yeah yeah you now see the mushrooms that popping the mushroom clouds. Yeah, I mean I was confused about that. I guess so this this is now I guess now we are accepting that yes we have a new beginning and we're now parents and we're in a relationship. I guess mm -hmm. I, I I don't know what I, I don't know what the staring was about. I would assume I guess that's what it was. <laughs> now you pointed out something with uh, Alicia. Yeah, see, the whole thing is that you know, what, what the, the the when you go back to what happened earlier in this episode with Riley, is that you know I would assume that he told them where Alicia was at, and I assumed that they was going to try and find her. But it, they never, they never got to her. And 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 there is a scene where when they show the the montages of the bombs exploding, you know, going off in different areas, they show the cell that Alicia is in, and she's not there. So I guess that they want that to be the mystery of next season, as you wonder what happened to her. Um, but then they also have decided to once again, pretty much recreate, pretty much at the beginning of this season where Morgan was trying to find everybody else because they're all isolated in different, you know, different areas. 
I mean, pretty much when we start the next season, it's the same situation. People are isolated in different, you know, all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's going to be the same thing where they have to come together or reunite in some way, shape, or form. Okay. All right. So now that we got that out the way, let's just figure out and think, where do you think this is going for Season 7? Because there's a bunch of different things they can do now. Now that we see that there's that connection with the Civil Republic, that mm -hmm. connects to World of Beyond and to Walking Dead proper, Mothership. Because remember, that's how they evacuated and they took Rick out. He yep. was on one of those. So are they going to find Rick? Or with the kids and the whole thing from World Beyond? Are they going to connect with them in some way? We definitely well, know that there is some connection with World Beyond because they already had confirmed that beforehand, that there was going to be yeah. something. And, well, uh, yep, keep going. Well, with all due respect to the people working on World Beyond, I do not want to see them in Fear the Walking Dead. So I hope that that's not where it goes, yeah. at least as far as those characters are concerned. Now, if, uh, you know, it, I, I mean, the re regular Walking Dead, they keep talking about, uh, you know, Rick. So I would hope that some people from the other Walking Dead are going to appear in, in next season in some capacity now that you're bringing all of this together. I mean, I, I have no idea how... Because, again, they're going to tie this into the other shows mm -hmm. as well. So I don't know how they're going I, to tie all this yep, stuff in. I have a feeling. This is my okay. thing. All right. So here we go, people. All right. This is it. This is my, 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 <laughs> my room of corner. This is what I'm thinking in my mind. What do we know? We know World Beyond Season 2 is the last. That's it. It's only two seasons and it's done. Thank God. It's, it's yeah. not good. It's not good. All right. <laughs> we know that come... August 22nd, we're getting the final season of Walking Dead proper. Mm -hmm. The only one out of these three that's continuing is Fear. Mm -hmm. So, my theory is that we are going to see some of the characters from Walking Dead proper and probably from World Beyond find themselves in the cast of Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. This is going to that. be the way. We're going to see a connection of not one or maybe both of those other shows. And this is how they're going to say, all right, well, we know this is ending, but we want to continue with you, you, you. And this is how we're going to do it. Because we saw how they did it with with Morgan and with Dwight, and it was just doing this absurd long journey across the United States. <laughs> One with Morgan walking and with Dwight just driving, Sherry, you know, searching everywhere, <laughs> looking for his wife. It was, it was crazy. We can't do that again. You know, they can't do that again with this and just, what, randomly start finding members from other shows that, oh, wow, look, who are you? I'm Ezekiel. You know, no, no, we can't do that. So I have a feeling somewhere along the lines that that's what's going to happen here. We're going to see the connection. And uh, this this is how it's going to happen. They're going to continue on in that way. But next up, though, is Walking Dead proper. That's mm -hmm. August 22nd. There is still no release date for World Beyond. So I'm just assuming that will be it. World uh, Walking Dead proper is the next Walking Dead that will be returning to TV. So Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's what I think is going to happen here. Um, what's another surprise? What we could see, I don't know if it's going to happen, but they like to do this as we discuss a lot of off-air, off-camera scenes. I don't think all these people are going to make it. Maybe they could say certain people died on the way or certain things happened. What if they said Dwight and, and Sherry died? We won't know. They don't know. Unless their walkie-talkies work. Is everyone's walkie-talkie going to work after this? Do they even have their walkie-talkies? Who's charging these uh, walkie-talkies? Well, here, here's another question. Do you think there's going to be a time jump? They Maybe could. A, they, could. Yeah. they could do a time jump. Yeah. Because they have to explain how they, they leave that area. Because that's yeah. one thing that Grace did say before. She's like, even if we survive, we have to leave because of the radiation. And she knows mm -hmm. all about radiation. Because remember, she's a nuclear scientist and she had radiation poison. Remember that? Yeah. So, uh, they could do the time jump. They definitely could do the time jump. But uh, if they do that, some characters, I would think, they would write them off. And be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, remember this one? Yeah, yeah. They almost made it, but they died because of radiation. <laughs> I can see them saying that. I can see it. And then they just show like a little splash screen of just... I keep saying Sherry and Dwight, but I think they're done. I don't know why. 
part of you, it. You think so? I think so. I don't know why. I, don't I thought know. I thought that I thought there was a lot. He, he, you know, they have a lot of fans, especially the white. Oh, of course, of course, they have a lot of fans, but uh, it, it's it's weird fandom for that because uh, on one hand we know the journey; it's the love story, right? It was him yeah. trying to track down his wife. Well, he finally got her. So what more do you need? They're, they die together. Doesn't that make sense? That's a <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Come on, we did it. Do you want to keep them going? Do you want to see a spinoff of the, for themselves trying to survive? You know, a nuclear blast area with no gas masks. Well, you well, know, with I, no hazmat I, suits. Well, I will. I will. I will. Well, I will say this: uh, if they are going to end those characters. I I would not be surprised if it's a situation where they revisit the fact that she still wants to get revenge with o, over Negan because Negan, if they're going to start crossing these shows together, they I I feel like they had when she said that to Dwight a couple episodes ago that she wanted revenge to go after Negan, that I think that was said for a reason. Yeah, and but so the, if she does, but remember well, in this one she said that she wasted too much time with all that anger. Remember when yeah. she was like, "Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's true." She said, "I wasted too much time. We should. I just should have focused when you arrived, just to be happy, and we should have just lived our life." But no, I had all this anger in me, and I let that consume me. There's always going to be bad people. Remember, she was like, "We can't take them all down. The bad people always win. They're always going to be there." She, 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 she did say that. But what, if, what if she comes into contact with Negan? Oh, is she we, is she also going to have the same same reaction? We could or is do it... that. So, listeners, anybody who's followed the comics, and we've talked about this, if you if you know the, from the all the way to the end of the comics, toward the end, it was Rick who kills Sherry, and then mm. Dwight. He was already a, 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 a follower. He was a, a pretty much the the Daryl of the the comic series with Rick. He was like his right hand man. So he was kind of upset, like, what's going on? I was like, she attacked me. She had her own group. It was it was a whole big thing. Anyway, we know Rick's not there, but we know that Negan is still around in that area. What if they flip it around? They still have Sherry's death, but it's with Negan. So, like, if we go with what you were saying, she sees him, and she just rages out. You know, she's mm-hmm. hitting, we, we're, we're sort of seeing a little bit of that hinted with Maggie and that maybe she might do it. Maybe she won't, but what she yeah, doesn't, yeah. but mm-hmm. let's say it's not her and it's Sherry. And then she tries to kill him. He kills Sherry self-defense, similar to what happened with Rick. And how does Dwight feel about the whole thing? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see well, if it well, gets, yeah, if that ever happens. But, uh, so you think in closing, you think they're going to do a time jump? I think that's possible. Um, I do think that uh, I definitely believe some other characters may not make it in next season. I think for now, it, everyone is going to possibly be back. But, uh, you know, they're going to have to explain. And, and the whole thing about the big the big bad villain, I have no idea who that is going to be. I mean, it feels like Victor Strand is obviously against the group now. Because, you know, in that commentary, they said that he made a darker turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was talking crazy. He was definitely talking But it, what, what if they go real crazy with this? This is it. This is going off it? the deep end. Mutated people. Right? What do we have when we have it? Like, the hills oh, yeah. have eyes. Right? Yeah. That was it. These people that survived out there through these nuclear blasts and stuff, and they were all mutated. What if we see that? So now they introduce different type of monsters yes we have yeah. the mm-hmm. walkers but now we have mutated people just running around becoming cannibals and doing all that craziness that's just throwing it out there we don't know the range of these these warheads there was 10 of them we don't know we saw some in the distance but we don't know how far they went out so well that 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 in the fact that you know i i i guess that uh the nuclear explosion that could also impact the walkers and make the walkers even more dangerous if you come into contact with them. Yeah. So we saw that they, before, they, and that we that was something that, with Grace yeah. when Grace was talking. Mm-hmm. About, I remember though, she was like, "You can't kill it. Be careful with these. Don't get close to them." Remember that yep. was that whole thing because then they could, yeah, with the radiation. So that's definitely a possibility. So yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot they can do. They said next season's going to get dark. So that's, that's oh, 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 they did say the producer, that. Right at the end, oh, credit, one producer, he's like, yeah, we're setting things up for everything to, to be different. And that's why they call this the beginning, because this the beginning, meaning this is the beginning of a new chapter for everyone and for everything of this story. 
mm-hmm. and it's not too far off. Think about it. We just this whole season was like a western. And yep. we had horses, we had cowboy hats, we had shootouts, stand down. <laughs> we had, uh, you know, we had it all. We had it all. You know, and so uh, it's yeah, I can see them getting all crazy in the next one and why not? They're following in, in if you think about it, in a weird way of like um uh oh man, I'm blanking on that show on FX. The FX series that uh oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, Oh my gosh, I'm blinking on the name. But uh, you that uh, that they they had the nuclear one, and then there was one with the creep show, uh, American Horror Story, American Horror yeah, Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and they, they go in different d- directions. It's a different story, different cast, but in a way, that's sort of what Fear is doing, throwing them in different locations. But not just the location, but the scenery. Everything changes. Remember, they had the dam. They had all this stuff. They were in Mexico, and all the stuff going on in Mexico. So it's it's not just so much that they're in a new location, but the location tells the story and progresses mm-hmm. the story. So, uh, yeah, we can now, this could be post-nuclear war type of uh, effect with the radiation everywhere. People walking around in hazmat suits or makeshift suits still have maybe some radiation burns, look mutated. Uh, if, for the gamers listening, I remember like a fallout type of thing. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it could definitely be in that realm and we don't have anything right now on tv like that so that 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 could fill a void in that way and it still all applies fear the walking dead you know what because they're all dead still right everyone's dead mm-hmm. yeah and if you really go based off from, from kirkman said the, the walking dead is the dead these are the humans they are the walking dead because they're gonna yeah. die there's no way there's no end game there's no happy ending with this all right, so that was it, man. That was kind of long, but you know what? We There was a lot that went on in this episode, and uh, this is it, people. Till next year, I'm assuming that's when it comes back, but we will be back August 22nd when yes. Mothership, Walking Dead proper comes back, and then World Beyond when that comes back, because you know, we have to cover it, because that's going to happen. But at least we know it's coming to an end, so that's good. <laughs> and then, I'm assuming somewhere within the the... The final season, we're going to find out more info about the Daryl and Carol spinoff. Yeah. yeah at, at some point, we're going to hear that. We're going to definitely hear that. And then we still have the movie, Walking Dead movie. That's still in the works. Mm-hmm. So that's still happening. And from what I understand, that was like a three-movie deal that they had planned out. So I don't know if they're going to stick with that. But we definitely know one is coming out. Michonne is supposed to be part of that one also because she is not gone from the universe She's still very much in it. She's just not on the show because she went to do other things. I get it. You know, the show's been on for a long time. But, hey, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. All right, so everyone, thanks again for following on Spotify and and keeping us subbed up on iTunes and checking us out over at The Coalition. That's with a K and our Coalition on YouTube if you're on there. Thanks. Leave your comments, what you think to expect for next season because this is it. This is going to be fun. This is what we can now pick up bits and pieces, start hearing about cast members, certain people doing other projects, try to figure out who's going to stay, who's going to go, because I'm telling you, I have a feeling that everyone that we saw survive will return. I just have a feeling it's not going to happen. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, we are off, and we will talk to you guys August 22nd. Peace.